1775. Never has the Chinese Empire been so widespread, so prosperous, so powerful. It is the apogee of the reign of the Emperor Qianlong. And it is from these palaces, built to exalt his glory, striking symbols of power, that the son of the heavens governs over millions of subjects in the world's oldest empire, the Middle Empire. And yet, on this summer morning, the Forbidden City is at the dawn of certain tragic events which will shake the foundations of the Empire. Anjin, son of Moshan, by this decree we, the august son of the heavens, name you superintendent of our imperial house. Anjing, by this promotion, his majesty is expressing his total confidence in you. But beware of the envious. Superintendent, if there is the slightest problem, inform me if necessary, but use your own judgment. Enter. What is it? I implore your grace, Excellency. Why? Wang, the chief of the servants of His Majesty, has been killed in the venerated Hall of Supreme Harmony. What? Tell me how it happened. I, I was making a routine inspection. I saw him as I walked in. I'll never forget that horrible sight. And then? He was still alive, Your Excellency. Did he speak? Yes. What did he say? He uttered some terrible words. What were they? He said that death was upon us. Go on. He said he had been murdered. By whom? By the demon, he said. The demon with red eyes. And then? And then he died. Superintendent An, His Majesty wishes to see you immediately.